What the hell is a pet camera? And can it really be better than a security camera? This is Igloo, a very important reviewer at Gizmodo, and he's gonna help me find out. The idea behind the pet camera is actually pretty simple. It's like a security camera, but with fewer security-focused capabilities and more pet-focused ones. Some people even call it a treat camera, because in addition to recording your food, it also flings treats at their faces. Plus, it lets you talk to your pet. Igloo, come here, Igloo. And some even allow you to set up alerts, so you can know when they're meowing or barking. Now we pitted the three best pet cameras on the market against Google's cheapest Nest Cam. The Nest Cam is $200, it records 24-7, and it lets you set up alerts so you know when there's movement in the home. Plus, it's really, really small and can be mounted anywhere. Now, the pet cameras are a different story. They're a lot bigger because they have to hold a lot of treats. This one is the cheapest one, the Petsy, and it's about $150. This behemoth is the Pet Cube Bites, and it comes in at around $180. And this one is the Furbo, and at $200, it's the most expensive. Now to figure out which of these four is the best camera, we put them through a series of tests. Which has the best app? Which has the best audio and visual quality? And which handles treats the best? You ready to figure this one out, Igloo? It doesn't matter if your internet connected camera is for security or pets, it's gotta have a good app. Everything you do with the camera goes through the app. So if it sucks, you're gonna have a bad time, no matter how nice the gadget actually is. Petsy is the cheapest pet cam, and it really shows on the app. There are no settings for recording video or monitoring pet activity when you're away. The settings only cover night vision and the volume of the speakers. The Petsy does have a couple of nice features. It's super simple to share pics to other Petsy users, and there's an option for auto-ordering more treats, although any small enough kind will do. Furbo and the Pet Cube Bites are both significantly nicer apps. In fact, I like them more than the Nest app, too. It's very easy to adjust settings on both. The Pet Cube actually has a few more available settings, including scheduled treat types. However, in everyday use, I found the Furbo app to just be more reliable and so simple that it feels less like a hassle. Connecting to the camera, even away from home, was faster, and I never found myself worrying it wouldn't connect. And while the Pet Cube app keeps things like motion alerts and bark alerts behind a paywall, the Furbo app does these things for free. When it comes to the best app, Furbo is the winner. Now the most important job of any of these cameras is to monitor a very good boy like Igloo here. So you need to have a nice, clean image. And because you're talking to your pets, you want to have really clean audio that actually sounds like you. I am a demon monster. I am a demon monster. So the next battle is really simple, which has the best audio and visual quality. The Nest Cam is focused on being a security camera first. So it has a robust feature list and 1080p resolution. Yet, as you can see, the others aren't awful. The Petsy's image is lower quality, which has 720p resolution, and the Pet Cube's sharper 1080p video seems a little green. The Furbo has the camera quality closest to the Nest. It's a nice, crisp, clean image with a really wide viewing angle. It's also got great audio. Listen. Igloo, come here, boy. Igloo, come here, boy. Now, the Furbo has good video quality, but it's the only camera that doesn't make me sound like a goblin troll person when I talk. Oh, you're such a good boy. That makes the Furbo our winner for audio and visual quality. Okay, so the Furbo has the best app and is the best audio and visual quality. But what about treats? Now obviously, the Nest and any other security camera isn't gonna compete. So this one's just about the Pet Cube Bites, the Petsy, and the Furbo. Now the Petsy has the smallest reservoir for treats, and it's super liberal with dispensing, which means you'll be refilling it every day, and that refilling process will be a hassle. The Furbo also has a smaller reservoir, but it's super easy to refill. It also makes a neat alert noise each time it fires. Also, unlike its competitors, the Furbo is very good at dispensing just one treat at a time. Still, the Pet Cube Bites really nails the treat tossing game. Not only does it have the largest and easiest to fill reservoir, but you can also schedule treat times and even control how far the treats are tossed. I'd love it if the Pet Cube Bites was less liberal with the treats, but the fine control over when and how far it tosses treats adds a degree of interaction the other pet cams just can't compete with. That means the Pet Cube Bites wins the best treat battle. Okay, Igloo, I think I've figured out the winner. Do you have an opinion? I'm gonna take that as a yes. Now the Nest camera is really, really good, and it's the least obtrusive in terms of size. But if you really wanna interact with your pets, it just can't compete. Nor can the Petsy, 
which is really, really budget in some not great ways. Now the Pet Cube Bites won Best Treat Dispenser Battle, and it's got really reasonable audio and visual quality, but it's also really big, and a larger pet is gonna have an easy time knocking it over. The Furbo, on the other hand, can't be mounted on the wall, but it can sit up high and get the best audio and visual quality. Plus, it's got a really nice app and a good sturdy base, so it's less likely to get knocked over. You know, the Furbo actually feels like it was built for pets, and that makes the Furbo our winner.